Hello class 2. How are you children? I hope you all are keeping well. Uh, children, this is your GK class. In this video, I will discuss about the question paper, the pattern and the way that you will write the paper. Okay. So, uh, take out your GK book. Children, you know this is your GK book. And your syllabus for half yearly, you have got it. Your you have got the timetable also. So, that see the syllabus is... Chapter 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 16, 17, 18, 22, 24 and chapter 1, 2, 14 and 20 are revision chapters. Isn't it? So this is the syllabus for the find, uh, for the first term. This is the, I mean uh, half yearly. So chapter 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 16, 17, 18, 22, 24 and 1, 2, 14 and 20. These are revision. So children now. Open your book at chapter 7. Let me tell you what is there in chapter 7. See chapter 7 page number 10. What type of question you may get from this chapter? Okay, the name of the chapter is fruits, nuts and vegetables. Isn't it chapter 7? So, uh, let me tell you. See, as the chapter name suggests, fruits, nuts and vegetables. So, from this chapter you may get the questions like name to vegetables, name to nuts, name to fruits. This is very simple. You know it very well, isn't it? You may be asked to write the name of two nuts, two kinds of nuts. This is the way you have to learn this chapter. Okay. Now see, come to chapter, uh, next chapter, page, that is page number 12. Here you can see the picture of some vegetables. And I hope that you all know name of few vegetables. You can write it well, isn't it? There will be no problem. Now come to chapter 8. When do they grow? Now you can see some vegetables and fruits, flowers here. Now when do they grow? So you must know the name of some fruit and when they grow. Like, it's like melons. You can see the picture of melon. See, you can see the picture of melon, mango, strawberry, isn't it? This is the flower, mogra, isn't it? So they grow in the warmer month, okay, in the warm places. Okay, understood, not month, I'm sorry. So, uh, month also we can say, yes, in the way, uh, suppose uh, mango. Mango is a summer fruit, isn't it? Mango is a summer fruit. So, there are some vegetables and fruits, they grow when it is warm in most part of the India. And some fruits are there, they grow in India when it is cooler month. When the month, our month are cooler. Isn't it? This winter fruits and summer fruit. Very simple way to learn them is winter fruit and summer fruit. So, when you are asked to write down the name of, you may be asked to write down the name of two fruits that grow in the month in summer or in grow in the cooler month or you may be asked to write the name of some vegetables or fruit they grow in the warmer, in the warm, uh, when it is warm in most part of the country, when it is warm. Okay, means when it is summer. Okay, summer fruit and winter fruits, vegetables, like you can see carrots, cauliflower, then cabbage. We find this, we get this vegetable specially in the cooler month of the year, isn't it? This way you have to learn chapter 8. Then move to the next. See, next is chapter 9, where do they grow? Here you can see pictures of some trees and plants, isn't it? So, there are some trees. The first one, see, this is pine tree. So, where in which region you will find this plants and tree? Okay. So, uh, different trees and plants, they, they need different temperature. Okay. For their growth. Like here, the first picture we can see here is pine. So, where do they grow? Where do they grow? They grow in the region, in the warmer region or in the cooler region. So, pine tree generally grows in the cooler region. Okay. So, name two plants that grow in cooler region. Then you can name pine tree. Then, see, deodar. Isn't it? Then, cooler region, you can find apple. Apple, we find in the cooler. They grow in the cooler region. Okay. Then, again, you may be asked to write the name of two plants that grow in the uh, warmer region. Places which are warm. Okay. Like coconut. We get coconut tree in the, in the warmer region. Okay, in the areas which are mostly warm, then again in warm in mango, will uh, you can write that tree that grow in the uh, warmer region is mango. Okay, 
So this way you have to learn write the name of two trees that grow in the cooler region, write the name of three plants that grow in the warmer region. This type of answer questions may come. Now if we come to number 15, page number 15, then you will find that which of this plant do you think need very little water. There are some plants they need very little water and they grow in deserts, in dry areas. What are they? So you have to uh, na name them like cactus. Cactus they grow in the area uh, where there is less rain. Isn't it where it rains less? This way you can complete this. Understood. So chapter 9 is done. Then when we come to chapter 10, when we come to chapter 10, this is chapter 10. See, this is chapter 10. Here you can see some pictures of animals. You have to unscramble the names of the animal. Okay, what you have to do? You have to unscramble the name of the animal. Like F-O-W-L. It will be Wolf. W-O-L-F. This way many animals are there. You know it. You have to unscramble their name. Okay. Then very important in this chapter is see match each of uh, page number 17. Page number 17 this is. See there are some animals they have got some special name. Like sheep. Sheep is known as uh, sorry camel. Camel is known as the sheep or uh, the sheep of desert. Isn't it? So which animal is known as sheep of desert? Camel. Then here see man of forest. See orangutan is known as man of forest. So which animal is known as man of forest orangutan then you have to write the name so please learn the spellings properly okay very careful learn the spellings then which animal is known as river horse hippopotamus hippopotamus is known as river horse horse so learn the spelling properly then come to the next question number three birds have beak now here you can see some uh, part of the animals are given here see horse they have mane then cow they have horn then a uh, special feature of um, uh, this one uh, elephant is task isn't it then the kangaroo they have paws so these are some of the important some special parts of the animal so you have to learn their name also okay horses have got dash that is main one part then you may be asked to match also deer then you have to match it with antler okay snail shell kangaroo pouch cow horn elephant tax this way children i think this is clear to you so up to this we'll discuss in this video and in the next video we'll discuss the rest of the chapter okay thank you have a nice day